Valley. It is 63 degrees with overcast conditions and a northeast wind right around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So not as blustery as what we're seeing farther north. Storm Shield radar shows some scattered showers north and west of the Fox Valley right now from, let's say, near uh, Ogdensburg up towards Scandinavia and then Wittenberg north towards Anago. This activity is lifting to the north and east. Then we get kind of a break in the action here across southern Wisconsin, but there are other showers and thunderstorms now coming together across parts of eastern Iowa and northern Illinois. In fact, we've got a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings. You can see we've got a batch of thunderstorms here right across eastern Iowa lifting to the north and weakening, but additional showers and thunderstorms are likely and those will spread north into northeast Wisconsin later on this afternoon, but especially this evening into tonight. High-res future radar shows quiet weather across the area for the next couple of hours. By 5.30, a couple scattered showers are possible. And then we'll watch a large area of showers and thunderstorms develop across eastern Iowa and southern Wisconsin. That will then swing through the area between about 7 and 11 o'clock. Everything tapers off as we head into the early morning hours. There is a marginal threat for severe weather across the southern half of the viewing area. We've got that frontal boundary kind of draped in this general vicinity. And right along that front and south of that front, there is the potential for uh, a strong to severe thunderstorms. The main threats would be damaging winds, potentially some large hail, but an isolated tornado or two cannot be ruled out across the southern part of the state as we head deeper into the afternoon and early evening. So that's obviously something we're going to be watching. The main threat, however, for most of us will be heavy rain. You can see that the uh, computer forecast models are suggesting anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain is likely across most of the viewing area as we head through the evening and overnight hours. Some spots could see just a little bit more than that where we see some of those heavier thunderstorms. The National Weather Service continues the flood watch here from the Fox Valley roughly north and west for tonight into tomorrow morning. We still have several rivers that are at or flood stage at or uh, that are at flood stage or are near flood stage and with the threat of heavy rain you know, widespread half an inch to an inch with locally higher amounts, we could see new flooding start up and we can certainly uh, expect to aggravate some of the flooding that is ongoing across northeast.